this way. Coming your way? Whoa, baby! Go get some sheep, Jake. After a long day yesterday, we got all the sheep moved, got them out to the spring range so they could start lambing. And uh, as we got home last night, a guy that's still out there, he called and said, hey, you forgot some. So we're gonna go see if we can go out and find our lost sheep, go load them in a trailer and bring them back home. We just rolled up on this hill, got out to where we're going. Braden's up there looking with the binoculars, seeing if we can find them. So these sheep are somewhere up in these hills. The guy that was out here said that he saw them up there. So our goal today, we gotta find the sheep wherever they are. We're looking with binoculars. We're gonna fly the drone up there, see if we can see where they're at. Then we'll chase after them on the horses, go get them, see if we can get them rounded up, bring them all back down. There's a little wire corral right there that we can put them in and load them in the trailer and get them back home. So let's see if we can find this sheep. Ready to flip the go, dude. So we flew the drone, we couldn't find the sheep. Raiden looked over with the binoculars for a while, we couldn't find them that way either. So we headed across the country. We're just cruising up over in these hills, see if we can find the sheep, see if we can get them gathered up and uh, get back before it gets dark. We've got a long ways to go before we get over to the other side of this valley, so we're cruising. Brayden says we've been riding 30 miles. Feels like it. We just glassed up a couple of sheep across the way. They're on that far ridge all the way over there. So we're gonna go motate right on over and see if we can uh, find them. All we see is two on top of the ridge. So we're hoping there's another 18 or 20 over there uh, where we can't see them. So we're gonna go see if we can gather them up, go do some, some uh, ranching and it's gonna get Western. Plan is, is we're gonna get up above and see if we can get above those sheep to where we can bring them down. The truck is clear over there, so we're going to bring them right down this valley, right around the hill, and hopefully get them back to the truck. Come on, girls. Down. Good dog. Getting left by these lost sheep. They're a little bit wild. Got to catch up to them before they mob out of here. Got to get them up to the trailer. We're gonna get a rope on them, throw them in, go find some more. Oh man, Brandon's busting out the loop. Gonna build a loop real quick. We're gonna see if we can stretch a couple of these out. We gotta catch them, run them into the trailer. So we're just gonna grab them. It's gonna be a good time. It's about to get Western. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, easy, easy, easy. This was a little more western, took a little more effort to catch this one, but we got her in the end. Showed her who was boss. Hug tied her down. I know I have a rope, you just use your other rope. That's right. You gotta be packing two to three ropes on your person at all times, man. Super punching rule number 16. Know the handbook. Come on, old mama. 
There you go. Easy. This is the Ranch Express, all right? It leaves now. You're on it. You have a ticket, so don't be don't be getting crazy on me. Nice. All right. 19 to go. So after a long day of searching, we just got back to the truck, come over to cross the valley, and we've been glassing with the binocular lookers up on the hill there, and all the way at the top of that hill right there, Braden found them. So now we just gotta dump the horses out, go mob all the way up there, bring them back in, load them in this trailer before dark. It's gonna be a long day. Got the drone up, we're gonna go count them, push them out of these hills with it, and bring them down to the flat. Then we can get them a little bit closer. We'll go round them up with the ponies, bring them all down, bring them over to this trailer and see if we can get them in. So we pushed those sheep all the way down the canyon with the drone, brought them a long ways down the canyon. That saves our horses from having to go do it. Now we're going to go pile on these ponies, get up there, bring them down. We don't have a krill anywhere near us, so we're going to have to bring them down in here, hold the door open. We've got the two sheep that we found earlier. We're going to tie them in the front and then open the doors so they're the bait sheep. And uh, we're gonna bring them in with the dogs and they're gonna run right in here and it's gonna be a good time. There's no way this can't work, a foolproof plan. Braden came up with it, so it's gonna work. Yep, we're nice wrestling, dude. Thank you. So as of right now, we got 25 sheep on a hill, a drone that's parked somewhere up in the trees, and uh, two tired horses. We got about six miles to go up and back, get these sheep back to the truck. We got about an hour and a half before the sun goes down and we're in the dark. And uh, we got no panels to load them in, a couple of dogs. It's gonna be a good time, it's getting western out here. Okay, come here. Towards the Van Halen and just jump. The last one. It took us all day to get her here. If we would have just loaded her first, we would have been done six and a half hours ago. got a full load now it's time to get out of here and head for home got a three and a half hour drive to get home it's gonna be a good time it's been a heck of a good day thanks for watching the video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already for more awesome stuff like this 
You may even get to see Braden again. That's what I'm talking about.